the 101 on CSS layout. In this tutorial, I will give you the why, what, and how of using CSS for layout in your web pages. Using CSS for layout in your websites allow you greater typography control. You can also separate style from structure, which will make it easier in the future to make design changes. Site maintenance is easier, and CSS for layout allows you to create smaller file sizes. You also have more control over your layout. Accessibility is better, and if you use CSS for layout, you are supporting the semantic web and are in compliance of W3C standards. A website that uses CSS for layout is generally built on a series of boxes that separate the different sections. A big box called the wrapper contains all the small content sections like the header, navigation, content, sidebar, and footer. In your HTML markup, you will call these sections divs. We are now looking at one of these boxes or divs. Let's pretend it's your content div. Each div within the web page is given its own height, width, margins, paddings, and style properties like borders and background colors. In your style sheet, you will need to set the properties for each div. For example, in your content div, you can set a width of 600 pixels and the height to be automatic. To give the text some space around the edges, add some padding. To give the box some space between other boxes on the page, add a margin. How would you write the CSS for this visual? Like this. Now how do you position boxes? In this layout, our content div is to the left of our sidebar div. To make this happen with CSS, we need to add a float property to float the content div left and the sidebar div right. We need to clear both of the content and sidebar floats to position the footer. In this tutorial, we just looked at creating layout boxes with CSS heights and widths, then positioning the boxes with floats. This info should be enough to get you started with CSS layout. There's more to learn, like using absolute and relative positioning, browser compatibility, and stacking order. You can look at these resources at the Max Design and HTML Dog websites for more information. Happy coding, your instructor, Jenna.